okay so today we will see some of the topics like in general we have a specification right so the specifications we will see today okay so for that we must have something uh, before so i'm just uh, going to have like this so i just have this kind of uh, two frames okay okay so okay. now we will go for spec okay and before that we need to go for support first right so create a fixed support and then use cursor to assign 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 okay and also go for property and then define some property for example i will go for 0.23 cross 0.23 assign to view i will give okay okay now we will go for specifications so specification is something we can able to input to our members okay apart from the property okay for example we have node and we have beam and we also have plate right we not discussed we will discuss anyway now we will go for beam first and mm -hmm. here we have many things so mostly okay. we can go for member release okay for example uh, here first we have release in release In which location you want start or end? I want start, so I'm just going to release what? M is that I'm just going to release. I'm just going to release moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So add, and also I'm just going to okay. First we will assign this. Select the beam and then uh, assign to selected beam. Assign. Okay. Can you able to see the moment release here in the start section? Okay. Okay. Like that we can also go for. Uh, end and then we can go for M Z add and then the same. You need to select and then assign to selected beam. Okay. By this way, what it will be here? We are not having moment release, so the loads it will directly go to the uh, fixer support. But here the load it will uh, end only here and here. It it won't go to the fixer support. Okay. That is what the moment release. Okay. So to see that how we can see like uh, we can just go for loads and definition. Uh, add one uh, date load. and then also we will have one live load okay so dead load as usual uh, self wait assign to view so live load we will take uh, one uh, our uniform distributed load member load uniform force minus 2.5 i am taking add and then i am just uh, selecting these two member assign to selected b okay okay now we need to go for analysis and print and all we need to add and then now you can go for control f5 or run analysis so we got zero error so it's good for our uh, structure now we can just go to uh, go to post processing mode directly okay and then i'm just selecting these two envelope okay this two loads are same okay see now we can able to see the deflection see can you able to see the deflection how it is varying see here you can able to see so the difference this is what uh, release moment release means so you can give whatever the release you want okay the same kind of frame but we have a difference in the output the values and everything also vary i think it it is it means that uh, it can rotate about that end yeah which means when you not having moment release but here we put release na so it is like uh, it can't it can't able to move further or rotate further in more okay the same also we can see in uh, msz so i will switch off the deflection and i will go for msz so can you able to see the difference the moment diagram bending moment diagram of both frame so both uh, same uh, dimension same uh, same property but only in specification i am putting release that's why we are getting the difference so after moment release there is no deflection or any any bonding moment in the support yeah okay. okay so this kind of structure if you are creating then you can make use of the releases okay 
see apart from this i am just going to 3d rendering anja in a real life which type of joint is required to achieve this so in real life which kind of joint for this uh, we yes. can say continuous beam na so when you have continuous beam then we can say it must have some releases yeah 